This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off free shipping and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This Luca Parrish and you are listening to Capes and the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. Darkness is your ally. Yes, yes she does. Anyway, welcome back to Before the Bat for now. I am Phil. Joining me as always, that master. Hey, um. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> it's Lola. She's excited. It's her episode. We're covering Detective Comics 666. Actually, we're three we're three issues away from my episode, but I'll take this one as well as a bonus. Oh, oh! I told you we're closing out the year with episode one sixty nine, where we could cover Detective six sixty nine. You will be at your full powers. <laughs> Just a happy coincidence, yes. Detective six sixty nine would fall in episode one sixty nine. Don't don't believe Phil. He plans things that way. I wish. I wish I could take credit for that. <laughs> like Merry Christmas, little Hellfire. Here's your here's your double sixty nine. <laughs> anyway, yes. So covering Detective Six Sixty Six might fall part what seventy two. <laughs> Feels like it. Uh, Are we gonna be done by the end of the year? I don't know. Not with nightfall. I told you we could have changed course. You're like, no. We have to finish it now. I'm gonna be a completionist about it. Lilith is like, you know. So we never have to come back here again. (laughs) You know. (laughs) How many times in her life has Lilith Hellfire said, You don't finish it till I say you're finished? Well, that that's an everyday occurrence. (laughs) Hey. Enough of that. <laughs> anyway, so yes. Uh, this cover is dope, but um. Oh, with Bane, yeah. like hovering over. <laughs> Although, the, again, once again, the interior art is better. Yeah, for a change. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, well, stay tuned after this issue. I'll, I'll briefly mention some of the current Batman comics and our contest. Ooh, contest. How, how can you win this? Come how can you win this Funko first appearance Batman? Stay tuned. Oh, Phil's my. going all out. It's so cute. Damn it. All right. So, yeah. So, we are covering this time Detective 666 from September 1993. The Devil You Know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can relate. I was, I was saying, me too, on podcasting with her. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> Suck it, Kona. Suck it, Miller. And we're off to the right. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> anytime. I hit that button anytime anyone sucks it. All right. Uh, so, yes, the devil you know. We get Gene Paul. Ooh, how about now? I mean, this art is beautiful, but that rope looks like just like a regular rope. <laughs> is Chuck Norris. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jim Paul wishes he was Chuck Norris. <laughs> With them fancy new gloves. But, uh, yes, he goes to Gordon's office because he even, he's even thinking to himself, you know, Bane's rolling the night, blah, blah, blah. I have to find Bane. Detective, detective work bores me. Oh, that's, why, that's why you're not fit to be Batman. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> But to be fair, it's not like most of Gotham's criminals are that smart anyway. So I mean, I, I mean, I get it. We're dealing with Bane, who just wants to sit down and watch TV. It's Bane. You want to draw him out in the open? All you got to do is like uh, shut down all the TV signals. Exactly. Like la- laziest villain I've ever seen in my life. Has everybody else do everything? Hey, you can't miss Oprah. Come on. Uh, but yeah. So Gene Paul comes in and Gordon's like, I've been expecting you. You've been active the last few nights. My detectives have been cleaning up after you. Yikes. And he says, that's what I want to know. 
as Bane, as Bane Stooges talked, you know. Yeah, right. Because they got captured. I know. You get it. Oh, his three Stooges. Yuck, 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 yuck. And there is a bald one. Justice for Shim. <laughs> How dare you? Curly was a toy man. <laughs> oh, but. but look, look and kitsch, huh? But look look and kitsch. Working them close to 24 hours. They're getting nowhere. I don't think they're going to hand Bane up. Mm, they're at the city detention center. Uh, I just want him to be like fancy new gloves, bro. I uh, know. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe his arm because he's in shadow. Maybe the arms are under his cape. Maybe not like, on yeah. his way out. <laughs> no, true, true. But he yeah. even lets the moonlight hit it, so he's like, "Oh, he didn't even compliment my gloves. What a jerk!" <laughs> but yeah, I guess the feds want a shot at Dane's boys, and the governor wants them separated and placed in maximum lockup. Yeah, Gordon turns around. He's like, "Oh my god, what? You're still here?" <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> You really turned around and you're gone. I wasn't certain you were finished talking. That's never stopped you before. I know. I know. It's like, burn. burn. Bruce is rude. We get burn. it. <laughs> that was your first clue. This wasn't the same dude. How do you plan on finding Bane? I'll keep that to myself for right now. The less you know, the better. And Gordon's like, oh, okay, now we're back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Plausible deniability. Uh, and then we see uh, Bullock and Kitcher trying to work over Zombie. <laughs> Uh, I have served hard time. You can death. see why he has that name. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at those dead eyes. Seriously, I've served hard hard time in Penadora, the hellhole of the universe. Your prisons are soft, easy. Um, you you didn't do time in Florida. That's sorry, you don't scare me. Uh Florida. That's at Little Hellfire. Uh, oh, Florida. No, is they agreeing? They're like, you tell them. <laughs> And the bullet's like, yeah, but you're going to serve your time alone. Hard time is harder without friends. And zombie, what must I do to save myself? Surrender Bane to you? I would die first. I would die smiling. You got to load up your prison purse, bro. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh. It's in his prison purse. <laughs> mm, so Look at it. Harvey all upset. He didn't get to bang somebody's head against the desk. Whoa. <laughs> can't start with the head it get it leaves them all fuzzy you know <laughs> then you then you punch him in the hand that's better <laughs> uh get there from all sides <laughs> bad cop and worse cop. No, there is no such thing as a good cop and cop <laughs> i know but yeah kitch is like yeah we'll get bane eventually and both like yeah i don't think so there's only one way we're gonna get him and it's not by playing by the rules because we see Zombie get back to his buddies. Oh, Lord. And you know, they're talking about, yeah, we're probably going to do time. But then a bag drops in the bird cell. Watch and wait. Signed with a B. Hmm. No, it, it was his bird dropping off goodies, bro. That That's nothing to worry about. <laughs> his bird has lovely penmanship. <laughs> So yeah, I some... mean, if elephants can paint, why not? Mm, true. So somebody, uh, yeah, throws down a gas grenade. Yeah, cause they there was gas mass. So uh, yeah, zombie, or I guess there's a something to pick the lock too. Yeah, they get out of their cells. And where are we supposed to go? Have a little. See, this is why glass cells don't work, homie. Just give me that old, you know, give me that old old prison iron. Yeah. And concrete. It's... Well, they still pick the lock. They don't break the glass, but yeah. Then, the, oh, look, there's a ladder in there. Take off across the rooftops. It's, uh, it's a braille break. Wait, no. It's a prison break. Uh, so, but then meanwhile, at the Drake house. Yeah, thank God, because we were just so worried about Tim's dad. Well. Uh, life pro tip, that was sarcasm. I literally don't care. <laughs> what are you in a zoom call uh, <laughs> yeah the, the oh yeah tim's tim's having a rough time as he's eating dinner that the housekeeper made i mean it looks better than anything alfred ever made i mean no shade just truth but i'll be like you know it's not like he's here all alone by himself yeah he's got the housekeeper 
Yeah, because I guess he had the he gave. He his... said his own aunt here. Don't worry about. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh yeah, in Harry, yes. But uh, yeah, Tim's like uh, yeah, tells her yeah, Doctor Kinsolving pulled some strings and got him a reservation at the clinic in Warm Springs. If he didn't leave today, um, well, that maybe. sounds like sexual healing. But we'll keep. We'll just right walk right past that one. <laughs> Well, I thought she was bang. I thought she was banging Mr. Wayne. What about your father? <laughs> uh, and then she said, "Shut up and eat your clay clay balls." <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. That's, that's what it looks like he's eating. Or that's some dead ass meatloaf, bro. <laughs> All gray. There's no pink left. Your balls. You're have welcome. To drop it. Oh Lord! Uh, has Bruce called- never stopped, Damien? Hello. Has Bruce called today? I was hoping he'd hear from him. No, not a word from Mister Wayne. Not till after Batman. Not till Batman Five Hundred. I know, right? Come on, get your head out of your butt, Tim. And then he's thinking, Dad gone under mysterious circumstances. Bruce and Alfred gone to look out, look for him, and only a note to let me know the signal being shown for some other Batman. Life's freaking messed up. I agree, Tim. Mm-hmm. And Paul made it pretty clear he doesn't. I'm not welcome as his partner. Well, tough. He didn't give me the job. And only one man can take it away. Just give him a backhand with those little freaking new gauntlet gloves. Bet you stand down. Let me see. Bullock and Montoya driving around this Batman sleeping off rooftops. Cause hey, it's what you do, man. When in Gotham, do as Gothamites do. Oh, this is so funny. Yeah, the the the. Uh, <clears throat> Bane's goons get back to the hotel where he's staying. Oh, look at that bathrobe. What a fancy man. Straight up. And he still has the gloves on. He's... I love how he's like, I did not age your release. I know. They're like, oh, 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 that was such a masterful escape you arranged for us. To leave you, to leave you in there to rot so I can watch TV in peace, damn it. Exactly. And he's like, <laughs> and look at my Revolutionary War painting on the wall. Come on. I did not age your release. I love this. Then we have been used. Who would wish this? <laughs> and they still don't get it. Bird's like, it was signed with a B. <laughs> Bane, you, dun, idiot. Dun, dun. <laughs> you idiots. As the window explodes. <laughs> oh, I love this. He just comes in looking looking for a can of whoop butt to open, bro. Oh, yeah. Because he, yeah, he put a charge on the window. He wants them disoriented and off balance. He has no time for subtlety. This is war. You never did. Like, oh, you're, oh, you're a big dog, bro. bro. <laughs> like, subtlety is not your strong suit, homie. No. We know this. Thank you for the reiteration. I mean, at least Zombie just gets a foot to the face. The other two get the gloves. Those big metal gloves. The gloves, not the gloves. And then just, oh, that panel. Bane. <laughs> They look, like they look like they're about to kiss. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, kiss. I don't know if he had his outfit on under that robe or Bane like changed really quick because he's now he's in full costume. Come on, he's he's got a you know he's got that mask on. He's all about you know the flagrant flair of it all. Of course he had his suit, his little hey. outfit on under there. Hey, and he grew up in prison. He learned the art of changing clothes very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows not to stay naked for long. <laughs> Just like he never bends over in the shower. <laughs> yeah, but he tackles. Jean- oh no, you don't get those, you don't get those legs from um. You know, you don't you don't get that from skipping leg day in the prison yard. I'm just saying. Whoa. <laughs> what are you talking about? Steroids. <laughs> I love how he's like, you didn't come to Gotham for Wayne. You came for Bat. Well, guess what, buddy? You're not Batman. Well, yeah, because he's like, uh, you again, the pretender. I'm no pretender. I'm Batman. The only Batman you need to worry about. <laughs> Bane, you are nothing. I'll destroy you as easily as I did Bruce Wayne. Easier. Who we call him easy? Well, Bane. he is a little chippy tart, so, you know. Yeah. You didn't come for, yeah, you didn't come for the Gotham for Wayne. You came for the Batman, and now I am Batman. You'll have to start all over again. And this time, you're not facing a man at the end of his endurance. I'm primed for you, Bane. Whoa. Ooh, this is a fanfic gone wrong. I'll tell you that much. With along, along. <laughs> He'll never love that you. Way. Be adjusted. No said. <laughs> He'll never love you the way he loves the Joker, Bane. <laughs> so true. 
Selena, that's meant for you as well. <laughs> Ooh. There he is. He likes those little twinks like Joker. There's no way he's going for you, Bane. He doesn't want a big bear daddy, no. <laughs> no. It's hairy enough. You can't beat me because I'm better than you, stronger than you. That can be adjusted. Jeez. Yeah, he pumps up on Venom. I would crush the light from me and be rid of Batman forever. Uh, Dick Grayson would like to have a word with you, sir. <laughs> he doesn't know about him yet. And let's keep it that way. It's True. fine. Thank Gotham is mine alone. And this time I kill you. He whips the sofa at him, puts him through a window. They're fighting on <laughs> the hotel balcony. Oh, chokehold. No I more. love how he's like, there will be no more to follow you. And I'm just like, oh, dick, dick. Just just the, put some respect on his name, homie. So rude. Uh, got that drop. Oh, dick, dick. <laughs> I'm here for dick. And don't forget Peter. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. The, sh- the mantle of the bat will be a funeral shroud. Oh my lord! So yeah, he put he puts one of those uh, bat shrunk and right into he, he, like right at close range, shoots it into his leg. Uh, need to recover, break contact. Yeah, he's free from Bane. Oh, gives him the claws right to the middle. And then Bane backhands him away. Any mouth. <laughs> Paul's fall in, shoots his grapple hook. What is it, Bane? What's the obsession with Batman? Are you afraid of me? As far as I can tell, it's not a revenge thing. You're new to Gotham. With no, you have no history with Wayne or Batman. But you've gone into a lot of trouble. Why? It was enough for Wayne to know that I was his opposite. But you are a curious one. You can park your questions in hell. Little of Hellfire. Yeah. A little of Hellfire on a first date. <laughs> So what, are your, so what are your interests, Lilith? You can bark your questions in hell. Now just shut up and get my get get to dig your own hole in the backyard, buddy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, kid. Pay for dinner, service me how I like it, and then dig your own hole in the backyard. <laughs> yeah, we have a we have we have a system here. Uh. Fast. Wayne trained you well. I wasn't trained. I was born for this role. Get out! Get out! Uh, it was my Thank death. you, sir! Oh, I please. said good day! Oh, please. Gene Paul and Bane were made for each other because then Bane's like, I was damned to my role. Yeah, I was- two of the most annoying things that ever come out of Batman. You're, you're exactly right. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, these two are basically... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Bane isn't Bruce Wayne's opposite. He's Gene Paul. <laughs> The world is my prison. I will rule it or die. Well, get to dying. Goodbye. Well, that's what Gene Paul says. That will th- then that will be your sentence. Death. Huh. Adios, oh, muchacho. Huh. You are different from Wayne. This Batman kills. So I have brought ruin to Wayne. And his neophyte brings ruin to the Batman. <laughs> Even if I lose, I've won. What an Ian maniacal just mm. So yeah, so Gene Paul tackles him to oh scaffolding, and then oh Gene Paul falls. Always the scaffolding. And just just by coincidence, yeah, Gene Paul falls off, but his legs wrapped around the rope. That's the only thing holding him upside down. Even in his debilitated condition, your mentor lasted longer than this. Perhaps if you have more time to temper your skills or make a fancy new costume, burn. A, a pity burn. we will never know. As yeah, Bane starts cutting the rope with uh. Gene Paul's all, oh nah, nice sharp bat. His fancy batarangs. And you know it's coming, kids. Continued in Batman 500. 500. Has it been 500 already? Feels just like yesterday. Feels like just yesterday was 1940. Oh, <laughs> uh, but I uh, guess. Honestly, we got. We got market crashes, depressions, another war brewing. Dan, Dan, on the vibe, on the vibes. I know. Oh, but hey, before I get to the comics and torture Lilith, did you see they uh, renewed Harley Quinn for season three? Yes, on HBO Max, 
DC Universe is now becoming DC Infinite, the a premier premium uh, digital comic book service. Well, just like I was telling Charlie on uh, Super Connectivity, uh, episode 307, uh, go check it out. Um, you know, I'm going to beat this over. joke. I'm going to beat this joke in the ground. I'm like, oh, DC, DC Universe Infinite. So no matter how fast I read the comics, they'll, they'll never run out. Well, they've run out of good stories to tell. I'll tell you that much. I'm, I'm making my life's mission just to read all the comics and be like, you false advertising. <laughs> Here, learn how to speed read and win the lottery. Oh, it's I a can lot read. of books. Well, no, on DC Universe. I mean, if they put everything on there. Well, what no. is it? Six months now instead of a year, instead of twelve months from release. I think I read. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, no, I'm just saying I'm going to read every comic on there and be like, I ran out. It's not infinite. False advertising. <laughs> do it! I dare you. Here, do you want start to start with you? Aquaman? <laughs> Ah, uh, he's all wet. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, Kona. <laughs> oh! Suck <laughs> it, Miller. <laughs> he's all washed up. I'd prefer, I would have preferred that one. Because <laughs> you know how I feel about Momoa, so I prefer yeah. that. <laughs> all right, so the new fancy comics this week. Of course, the Joker War rages on. Batman 99. Why is that? Why? Uh, that is nothing but filler. Like, every single person is like, why is there so much filler in this Joker War story? I was like, because they need money and you're dumb enough to buy it. And we're spinning <laughs> wheels till 100. Basically. Oh, my Lord. But yeah, I mean, the big thing on the cover was, you know, oh, look, Nightwing's back. But I mean, Batman hands. Can... Like, put some respect on Dick Grayson's day. He can't even come back normal in his own damn book. Like, I'm... that. that just tell you everything you need to know about Batman is that the hype for the Batman the Batman book is Dick Grayson. Exactly. And again, he, st he still doesn't put on the suit. Batman hands him the suit but he doesn't put it back what? on in the issue. Yeah. Because oh. yeah, Dick's ready to just go in that suit he's been wearing and Bruce is like, oh no, here I stopped at one of our satellite caves and yeah, he pulls out a briefcase with the suit. What's he, Iron Man? Keeping his suits and briefcases? Oh, did you read that new Scroll Iron Man? Scroll over to get that joke. <laughs> did you read that new Iron Man? Not yet. Um, I'm going to do it tonight. It's good. Yeah, Charlie read it. He, li he liked it, too. But yeah, I I'm telling you, man. Iron Man, they took that old school, man. The suit is in a briefcase. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. there's not even that much Nightwing. But, uh, but yeah, now Harley wants to kill the Joker. And Batman's like, no, we're not going to do that. Letter? Because he'll kill her instead and we can be rid of her? <gasps> In the comic books? I'm Harley? just saying. No. no. It's time no. for Harley to go. She no. she got the GFO, homie. I'm sorry. I'm over it. I'm sick of it. Give me something fresh. Give me something new. I don't even care about women in refrigerators at this point because she's an anti-hero and she can get it equally as well as anybody that can die. Our, our friend Charlie Esser requested that uh, Punchline gets a... Uh... A Punchline is the new Harley. Everybody has to kind of do that. I'm ready for Harley of the comic books to be gone. She thrives better in other mediums. They don't know what to do with comic book Harley. Flat, flat out, point blank, period. You know, I told Let you. Let her go. They want her to be their anti-hero Deadpool hero, and then Punchline is now the, you know. She, does, she doesn't work that way, though. I know, but they want both. They want the anti-hero. But they you want can't. Well, that's it why they created Punchline. Work. That's why they created Punchline. Trust me. Trust me, I know why they created Punchline, and that's not why they created Punchline. That is an answer to Tumblr. But <laughs> we could go there eventually. Um, next time we're all together, Comic Caper, uh, yes. Capes and Lunatics, remind me. Oh, just say Punchline, uh, and I'll go. <laughs> but Joker pulls the ultimate F you. Uh, he he was like reanimating corpses. He reanimated Alfred. Oh, okay. I know. And then, oh, look, and then Joker uh, is wearing that new fancy shiny bat suit. Oh, oh I'm going to be sick. <laughs> that was so awesome. You did the echo thing there, but you were just kind of like, oh, oh, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> that was so awesome. Oh, but you know what was good? Uh, Detective Comics 1027 because a thousand issues since Detective 27. Get it? Because we did had the big thousand celebration. Now we can do it again for 1027. 
so cheap and lame. Ten dollar book. Hey, I went in the store on Wednesday. He had all the variant covers. Only one of the variant covers sold out. Which one was it? Which one was it? The Batman and Nightwing cover. Oh, oh. Well, well, there you go. That should tell you everything you need to know about the state of the Batman family. I'm here for Dick. Diggity dink. And so is everyone else, apparently. Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, no, I mean, like I said, it's, there's some good stories in here. There's actually, like, detective stories in here. <laughs> Including, and I'll give him credit, there's a good murder mystery by Bendis. Good for Bendis or good in general? There's a difference, homie. I think both. I mean... The only like I like I was saying before, the only weak side I think is there's a little bit of Bendis dialogue in here, but for the most part, what do you mean? What do you mean? Who ex- did that? Exactly, but no, like all <laughs> like, yeah, like all the Robins and like Barbara and uh, Stephanie show up, and there's like a dead body, and they're like, "What are the odds that we all showed up at this place?" I don't know. What are the odds that we all showed up at this place? And, and then like Ben you know, Batman. Like, do the calculation um by my calculations well he was he was examining the body as everyone else is you know once bruce shows up everyone else is like is this a test are you sure that is batman testing us is this a test so <laughs> yes you get do get that then this echo but <laughs> otherwise it's a pretty good story uh but yeah there's a lot of good stories in here uh there's a joker story which is actually decent uh, I'm trying to. Th- who else was writing? Oh, yeah, the Joker story is Mad Fraction. There's a uh, like a Greg, yeah, Greg Rucka GCPD story, and then James uh, James Tynan with a uh, flashback story of uh, when Dick was Robin, and they like Batman and Robin team up with Dead Man. Aww. So yeah, that's pretty good. There's some good pinups in here. Uh, oh, Kelly Sue DeConnick with uh, basically uh, Bruce Wayne helping the GCPD take down this crooked businessman guy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that pinup. That's sweet. Mm. Yeah, there's a, yeah, like I said, there's a good bunch. Of, oh, this is a good one. Uh, did you see by Grant Morrison? Did you see everyone saying this is a great ghost, but it's always well, called, well, this is like here is called the silver ghost i guess i guess uh d didn't want to come off of that or what i don't know well there well there's you know basically the whole story is like back in the beginning like the silver ghost decides to like fight crime and you know he's trying to he's like he's like i want to be a you know i want to be a name i want to be a legend i don't i all right get it get ready he's like i just don't want to be detective number 26 in the bar get it get out i get it and you can get out sir and then yeah this like the last part he shows up at uh, a certain chemical plant on a certain night oh no i'm so sick of ace chemicals i don't know what to do well no it's the it's that original uh, case of the chemical syndicate from detective 27 oh okay Whew. yeah and he sees batman and then he basically just gives up <laughs> well there you go Actually, I saw an interesting discussion the other day in one of my uh, Facebook groups. They were like, who would you rather be caught by, the Punisher or Batman? And I was like, well, Frank Castle's bad at his job, so obviously the Punisher. (laughs) From a distance, yeah. (laughs) Only a few people, only a few people were like, yeah, you know what, you're right. (laughs) It's like a stormtrooper. If you're at a distance, you'll be fine. (laughs) Exactly. (gasps) Why does the Punisher use automatic weapons? Because he's a bad shot. (laughs) Oh my lord, let's get that started. Uh, but yeah, there's a good, there's a Gordon story. Yeah, there's some good stuff in here. Oh, do you want to hear Is it worth the money? Definitely? I think so, yeah. Okay. Oh, but uh, the story by Dan Jurgens, you know, the whole Generations thing. Yeah. Did you hear about this? Oh, but uh, no, Batman shows up in, uh, to stop uh, Calendar Man, who basically sets fire to this museum. Oh, all you had to say was Calendar Man. You know I love a good Calendar Man story. I know, but then there's a flash of light, and all of a sudden, it's the original Batman from 1939. And he's like, wait a minute, there's no fire here. 
And then, oh, look who shows up. Commandy. <laughs> that's nice with something on his arm and he's like uh you know there's time time is broken batman and he's like he's like the oh old- no oh no the, the 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 some old guy sent me what was his name buster and they uh i guess he's wearing some ai or something says no booster no no so yeah so yeah commandy disappears with ba- batman 1939 and then uh It'll be continued in Generations Future State number one. Because it's all going to matter, Lil Hellfire. Everything from Action Comics number one to now, it all has to matter. Things are, things are better than others. That's all I'm saying. I know, but everything has to matter. Maybe you should have thought of that in 1986, DC. Yeah, you, I mean, honestly, they're so wishy-washy at this point, and that's what's really the decision, decision to shake things up and, and do something no other comic book company's done. I know. I mean, in, in 86... And not stick to your guns about it. How many crises have we had since then? Literally, like, what, eight? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, they get into that, too. Uh, it was last week, but I just got it this week that, uh, was it, uh, Dark Knight's... Uh, death metal it's like uh, trinity crisis that, yeah, that I, man, we've yeah. been having a trinity crisis for quite a long time well, i feel no. like i've been the only one talking about it but that, okay batman superman and wonder woman have to go to like the, some of the dark uh universes where like uh was it they crisis? won't leave that that metal universe alone will they i'm so <laughs> sick of it it's been beaten to death just like a young kid with a crowbar huh <laughs> We're going to leave Jason alone, okay? <laughs> the disrespect on Mr. Todd. <laughs> you think his first name was Sweeney instead of Jason, I swear. Bucket uh, Miller. Uh, oh, and then we got the, the uh, bigger uh, issue 25 of Catwoman, <laughs> which kind of ties into Batman uh, 99. Because they kind of mentioned it real quick. Yeah, Catwoman. Fa- Remember, Joker stole all Batman's money. Well, Catwoman gets it back and she tricks Penguin and Riddler into helping her do it. You're welcome, Bruce. <laughs> that one was a decent one. Yeah, and then they set up like the new. I don't know if there's, I guess there's a new writer and there's going to be a new status quo. So. There's guess- always a new status quo. That's the problem. I guess she's going to have like a new teenage gang of thieves. And I was like, uh, okay, did you clear this with Batman? They better still be together. Um. Okay, so I just want to talk about Bendis' exit on Superman real quick. Oh. I don't know if we'll ever have time to talk about it. Um. The one thing that my biggest wish list... Exactly. My biggest wish list is that they fix John. I don't think that it was fair to the fans who have been wanting Superman as a dad and a family man miss out on his years. I hope that they rewind that back. That that is my that that is my one wish list for Superman. Exactly. That well, way- that's not really the real Jonathan Kent. You know what I mean, or yeah. something like that. Or that because it's not fair that we waited all this time. We literally petitioned and. Dug through convergence and <laughs> all those things. Get this, get this, and have him rip it away from us because he doesn't know how to write, uh, you know, prepubescent teen boys, uh, one pre- other, prepubescent boys. One other, can- he didn't want to deal with it. I know they're canceling Young Justice. Are they canceling Legion of Superheroes? I believe so. So I mean, that'd be easy enough because I mean, it'll be rebooted eventually when t- times get better, yeah. and you know, once they have a handle on yeah. their main seven, you know. But I mean, right now, John, probably, you know, those books get canceled. John's basically going to be just in the Superman book. So, yeah, DH him. I would like to see, you know, Connor can kind of play the part of like older brother or something. Yeah, something. I mean, it just makes more sense to do that because of the show, too. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just weird. I don't, I don't think he really, I think he snuck that by people, honestly. I don't think he really had that cleared, is the way that it seems. Oh. Because, especially now, because it seems just like Warner's actually wants everything to kind of like have a semblance 
onto what's on TV, what's in the movies, what's in, you know, what's in the comics. Because, you know, they made the Flash movie kind of sort of like the Flash TV show. And the comic, you know, the comic book kind of sort of is working its way back around to that. Putting more, fo- putting more focus on Reverse Flash from what I understand from yeah. future solicits and things like that. So just, I mean, just a thought. It just seems like Bendis always has to shock people when he gets on a book. It's like, you know what? No, people like John, you know, don't be aging him up. You know, come on. People also like the marriage. Don't be breaking them up, <laughs> sending her off. And again, too, it seemed like he was more interested in writing Lois or writing John, even if it was in Legion in the superheroes. It seemed like he was re- more interested in writing everyone else, but Superman had it was it was a big blockbuster thing to be able to put your print on Superman. It's it's on probably any every fan, uh, comic book writer's dream, either that or Spider Man or Batman. You know, like the yeah. big three. So, you know, he did that for better or for worse. And, you know, I just hope the next person comes in isn't gonna, I believe who did they it's not Greg Rucka. Who did they say they were gonna bring back in? Well, I know that it was um, a rumor, I think, but I think they said Mark Wade's coming back to the Yes, Mark Wade. Yeah. So I think he will have the balls to clean up after Bendis and you know, because he's a fanboy for better or for worse, just like kind of like Jeff John. So he gets it. And he knows and he, what needs to be done, I think. And he's used to writing like families with younger kids with like Wally and stuff. Exactly. So I'm I'm happy with that. Oh yeah. Yeah. And uh, hey, not just Ben this, but everyone, can we just like lay off the Krypton stuff for a while? I mean, the plan's been dead for how long? And it, it seems like everyone wants to do if the show rest. can't live, neither can the planet or any of its remnants. That's how I feel at this moment. But uh, I'm just saying everyone brings up Krypton in the last so many years. No it's, one cares. Like like Krypton. I don't care about Argo. I don't care about the Phantom Zone. I care about him, Lois, and John. Okay. That that's I don't even care about the Daily Planet. Quiet as is kept. I don't yeah. care about the Daily Planet. No, For Lois, it's fine. For Clark, let's move on. You can bring the Daily Planet in, but like I'm saying, yeah, leave Krypton alone for a while. Maybe leave the Phantom Zone alone for a while, unless you just you know need somewhere to like chuck prisoners or something. Okay, but it's like let it all sit. Have more down uh, down can the we earth. Get some, can we fix Supergirl? Can we de-age her? We're at it. We're at it. Can we get her having more time with her cousin? Without it being like this weird competition thing. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, who's better? Yeah, she don't... is part of the Superman family. I think we need to expand on the Superman family just in general and have like a better like chemistry and like, I don't know, map it out. I I, I know like they hate leading into like they want him to be the last son of Krypton, but Supergirl is a great property and they should do something better with than what they've been doing. With it. If not, bring back Power Girl. Justice for Power Girl. <laughs> I mean, even if they should do something with Supergirl, but bring yeah, bring back Power Girl. I mean, I mean, they tried to with Harley, and you know, I just I was like, Ooh, I but get it, but and it, eh. and it seems like soon they're gonna be doing something with the Justice Society, have her there or something. Exactly. That, that's all I'm saying. I just I just want a better, more cohesive Superman family. I, we deserve it. Yeah. Um, we can leave Steel alone. I'm just gonna throw that out there. We're gonna, we can leave Superboy Prime alone as well. We can just, oh, we, I don't know what to do with him. He's the reason that the universe is in ruins. He's, so he's, we can just leave him alone. He shows up at the end of the Trinity Crisis. So I don't know if they're going to try to do something with him or not. But yeah. Every single time they try to work him back in the continuity, it literally ruins the universe and they try again. It, they're insane over there because that's the death entity. They, they made him a, the they, same they, thing they, over and over again. They've made him a mad dog. Just put him down already. Yes. Sorry, oh, sorry boy. <laughs> Yeah, take out the backyard. His universe is gone. All he is, all he does, is want to kill. I'm mean, just, just put him, just kill him, or you know, just leave him alone. Yeah, just fingers crossed for a better Superman in 2021 and beyond. Oh yeah, yeah. Not that I, not that I'll be able to read it until like 2026, but it's fine. But I mean, hopefully, yeah. it would be all together in five years. That, I mean, that's my biggest hope. I mean, we'll see. I mean, again, yeah, Ben, this is run ends on Superman in action in December. So, yeah, January, we should be getting. Some, yeah. I wonder who's going to. I mean, I like the idea of him like doing other things that aren't like in the main continuity. Like, I love Naomi. I love that collab on Naomi. Like, I like the things that he did with the the Wonder imprint. I think that they should keep that going. He brought in a brought in a lot of the more younger readers. And that's kind of like where he excels, like how he how he uh, writes Miles. Like I like that for the DC younger generation. Yeah. So like, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying he's all bad, but in the main continuity, get it, get it. And it just when a writer doesn't get one of the majors, especially Superman, everything falls to hell. 
And that's what we've kind of (laughs) seen. Nobody wants to do a team up because, you know, he's the big kahuna and he's stepping on a lot of toes from what I understand, things like that. So, yeah, yeah. But yeah, again. Just just fingers crossed for better things once Bendis is like off of the main continuity of things. Yeah, don't give him one of the big names. If you want to give him a book, yeah, give him somebody, you know, somebody who's sales. You know, honestly, I wouldn't mind him writing for Wonder Woman because there's nothing they can do to ruin that character anymore. (laughs) So if they wanted to get, I think that that would be like something prestigious too because she's the best like DCEU movie. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, her property, her property value is really coming up here, so. I did see, uh, well, they were, when they were saying the rumor about Wade on Superman, I think they were saying, I think Grant Morrison's going to be done soon, too. They are saying Wade might take Green Lantern, too. Good. Yeah. I'd like to see his take on it. Oh, my Lord. And, like, Joshua Williamson's almost done on Flash. I want, I, would they be tempted to give Wade Flash, you know, just because of the history? I think that's too many books for one person and the way that they're restructuring it they want things out on time they don't want such a heavy workload on people i would rather see way back on the flash to be honest than anywhere else you know what don't give but him- he has the balls to clean up superman so that's where i want him okay i was gonna say if not maybe not maybe don't give him superman but like give him flash and green lantern and maybe have him like work with that where like you know you can he can yeah, bring him. back that old friendship i would love yes. that how and there yeah Exactly. I would like that a lot. Oh, I don't and... know who else could clean up Superman at this moment, though. Who do you think could clean up Superman if not Wade? Hmm. Yeah. Uh... I mean, I, I would almost even give Scott <laughs> another shot. Scott Snyder. <laughs> yeah. At this point, <laughs> the friend of my the friend of my enemy is my friend. You know. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. There what, we go. What about, like, yeah, what about like? what I've been doing. I know. What about Jeff Johns or something? Uh, he needs to focus on Stargirl TV shows. So yeah, no, sure. nothing sure. to take away focus sure. from Stargirl. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that is my number one DC priority. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. I just don't know if there's. It's any gonna other- be interesting to see because like a lot of things are happening. Like I'm so proud of um. Boom consistently being like the number four for the uh you know com- selling comic. It's usually like down there at five or six or something. Huh. So most of the time it's like Dark Horse and IDW, but Boom's really been making a move and uh, like to be number four. That's like kind of a big thing. So so is so is so many indie comic book companies out now. Huh. So yeah, but so um, it's just like a lot a lot of things shaking up in the comic book industry. So okay, here's the big question. Uh. So Wade or whoever takes over, do you want one person to have both Superman in action or do you want two different writers for both of those? I definitely want two different writers for those. I Like, you know, you read action comics for different things. Like, that's more of the, like, you know, the day-to-day life stuff, you know? Yeah. So I would love a different flavor, but they should definitely be in constant communication with each other. It should definitely flow and vibe with each other. I don't want like a day and night flavor. You know what I mean? I mean, Ben, this supposedly Ben, this was going to make, you know, Superman was, or yeah, the Superman book was going to be more intergalactic and action was supposed to be more down the earth. But I'm like, it's the same guy. You're cut, you know, it's going to, it's going to have the same flavor side. Well, it could be like, you know, like almost like, yeah, I like action as the day to day life Mm -hmm. slice of life kind of look at Superman. And I like, the regular, the main book to be kind of like a punch em up, sort of lesson at the end of the issue, kind of, you know, Boy Scouty thing. But it could be like, oh, even like reminiscing, like, I, I, you know, on a recent mission. It doesn't have to be like, you know, kind of like Legends of the Dark Knight, something like that, maybe oh, at yeah. this point. Do, do we bring back the triangle numbers? You know what? I'm not against it. Anything to sell books, homie. <laughs> hey, have two create do what they did back in the nineties. You know, you can have two different creative teams, but it, you know, have the story flip flop back and forth, and it's like you know, but you just throw it to, to yeah. the other team. Yeah, I just, I just, I have so many and so many and so many high hopes, and I just hope they finally get it together and figure it out. I'm just so disappointed in DC. I'm so upset. 
<laughs> you don't even know. I'm, I've been so upset for quite a while. And like 2020 was just the cherry on the Sunday where I said enough's enough. I'm out. <laughs> Get maybe, it together. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too optimistic. But I think by tw- by the beginning of 2021, I think they're going to straighten the comics out. We'll see. Fingers I crossed. Think- I mean, it's just been years of just like yeah. questionable choices. That, you know, I've been kind of like sliding off to the side. Like, oh, well, let's read some more Archie. Let's let's read some Maggie. <laughs> I, I know what I wanted to say to you the other day. Uh, you know, Fendus is, you know, Fendus is going to be doing that Leviathan book. Can we get a green arrow ongoing again? It's not time, sweetie. It's not time. Oh, okay. um, I think the green arrow property needs a rest after the arrow TV show and the cluster frack that it caused within that comic book and it never really recovered as far oh. as I'm concerned. Yeah. We had okay runs, but give it a rest. Okay. And so somebody that's super passionate about it wants to write it. Controversial thought. I can't believe this is going to come out of my mouth, but what if we rebooted Green Arrow and gave it to Bendis? No, because I really need a good focus with Black Canary and he just... I don't Ooh. want her to be another freaking, you know... Well, or or unless he pulls a Lois and like Black Canary becomes bigger in the book than Green Arrow. I, I doubt it. Um, not too many people like this really this really get Black Canary. They, not too many people know how to write really well for her. That's why her book got canceled so many times back in like New Fifty Two and right at the beginning of the Rebirth and stuff. Like I said, just take somebody that's really passionate and knowledgeable and knows what the fan base wants, and we definitely don't want her as some punk punk rock singer. No. Um. Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, I I don't. I only want people who are passionate about our project that have a good pitch. I don't want somebody just coming in, uh, you know, who just like like Ben said, you know, give you know, give me five million dollars or whatever it was, and I want to write Superman, and I'll bring in, I'll bring in the numbers. You know, I don't, I don't want another situation like that. I don't, I don't want nepotism, favoritism. I want, I want us to be a meritocracy again. You know what? I mean. He never would have agreed to it, but they should have signed Bendis to a contract. Yeah, we'll give you this much, but you have to hit this mu- this amount. Of, you have to sell this many books. I mean, in most places, I'm just saying. Would 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 really? We don't really know all the details, but but one day I will find them out. Trust, leave me, leave me. When I care enough again, I will find that is the first thing on my agenda. Nice, but no. I want to know how much money you got to ruin. Super- I want to know. I want to know. We should have a Green Arrow book back. We should give Black Canary her own book back. Get Black Canary back in the Justice League. Uh, hello? One more time for the slow people in the back? Hello? Put, put Black Canary back in the Justice League. See? Uh, can we can we keep can we keep Cyborg out of the Justice League too? Quarters is kept. Let him be a Teen Titan. Technically, I can mean go back to only being a Titan. I do not want him in the Justice League anymore. I, I get it. You need diversity, but that ain't well, the way to do it, homie. He's on one of those satellite teams right now. Right now, we have John Stewart in the Justice Main Justice League team. Exactly. So there you go. There's your diversity. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can we can we get Vixen on there then? If we're really that worried about diversity, I mean, just gonna um, throw that out there. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind Cyborg being in the Justice League, but I just don't. I like hate it. it. It makes no sense. One, it was just but, such a cheap, arbitrary decision. I don't mind him. Being no one there. cares about Cyborg. I don't mind him being there, but I don't mind it. But I don't want him being there from day one. He should, you know, if he comes from the Titans, yeah, how, how, how are you so important that you're a founder? I want to know. I'll it, wait. That and it's like they, they like kill. They like erased all that history he had with Beast Boy and everyone else, and it's like gross. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, we need people who are passionate, who get it. I, I don't want to say fanboy, but I want somebody that's passionate, that knows the history. There should be like a, a entry level test if you want to write for a book. You have to know these key things. Yeah. You have to have a killer pitch for what you want to do for how many of her issues? 25 issues. And it's Outline. like, and I, I know we always say, we ha- you know, how much we hate New 52. And I know some of you like it. Uh, You know, sorry, Connor McKenna. Some things were good. Some of them were good. were good, but the main, the Trinity and Justice League were awful. The awful. big, the big problem is they killed so much of that legacy that DC had, and it's like, and it's like, and oh, look at what they're trying to do now. Everything matters. And they, everything? Are you sure? 
Like, yeah, exactly. And it's like, you know, New 52 starts. Oh, we're five years in. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about that first four years. Didn't play in it. Didn't explain it. Killed off half that legacy. I'm like, really? We have a, we should get just a New 52 rant button. Just uh! New 52. <laughs> Yeah, that that's the original Bendis, definitely. Um, but yeah, I I just I don't know, like I just I just know so many people in the industry that have thoughts that are really good thoughts, but aren't necessarily as loud and it has have a big you know marquee name yes. like that a lot of companies are looking for. But I say get somebody with a nice medium sized fan base that shows up every time. Then just pays them fan service and gives them retweets and likes because that does not put that does not take the books off the shelves. That's all that I'm saying. I think they need to relook at who they're picking and why. Because exactly. I mean, with social media, it's just a different beast, and they're just so old. Like everybody at DC, I think um, on the executive board has like the median average is like sixty or something crazy like that. What? Maybe fifty three, but something that that's just too old, you know. Like you can't teach an old dog new tricks, especially in business. They're very set and stuck. So I'm just, mm, I'm glad that my, you know, Warner Media is like, you know, AT and T is trying to shake it up a little. I think they, I think they kind of see that now. So I just, I don't know. Yeah, I need some muscle. <laughs> and, and you know, I love old people. I'm just saying, but sometimes they get stuck in their ways. And, you know, it is very much a, you know, Hollywood game of who you know to get on books nowadays, unfortunately. And sometimes those bigger names, like, say, a Jim Lee, ain't what you thought it was. Again, get, I'm not saying he's dead to die, though, but get some, Jim Lee's got some baggage. Get some diversity <laughs> in there. Put that little hellfire in there. Go ahead, throw it on. Oh, no. No. Actually, the next company that I want to work with, work at is probably either Amazon or Google. Like, I... I don't want to deal with anything else. Lilith, so. <laughs> Lilith, just get a job at DC. I'll 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 work it. You I don't <laughs> want to. I don't like okay. I shouldn't say I don't like anybody there, but I thought I'd be able to work with the people that I care about <laughs> that are still there, which is like four people, I think. Two, three. Yeah, four people. <laughs> so I love you know what they I, I can recommend them a good PR person if they really need it. Y'all know where to find me on Twitter. Drop in my DMs. I'll slide you the number. Get you fixed up, because you have they have an image problem ever since this whole going to Tuesday during COVID and abandoning local comic book shops. I yeah. see a lot of pe- I see a lot of DC on my shelves now when I go into the comic book store. And I so. and I know my comic shop guy was saying, you know, he's with Diamond and stuff. He used to be able to, you know, talk to a live person on the phone. I guess with dude, they dude they they deleted their Facebook group for the buyers and stuff. Yeah. That was. Cr- this is what I mean. You have a crazy yeah. image problem right now. And he so. said for them, you can't get a live person on the phone. It's all automated and, you know, or you got to yeah. email them and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's like trying to get a number at Facebook. I know. <laughs> Not going to happen. Customer I mean, services is king. And I think people just forget that in the year 2020. Oh, people want to text. Oh, people want to email. No, most people still just want to yell at a, a customer service representative. I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, like I said, yeah, like I said, dear DC, drop in my DMs if you need a good public public relations specialist. Exactly. So on that note, on that <laughs> note ranting and raving. Before we get to our uh, plugs, yes, as I said, you could be the proud owner of this. Gimme, first, gimme. This first appearance, Batman Funko. Oh, Will <laughs> Why are you gonna enter Will's Hellfire? I might. Oh, she just wants to name the new show. Gimme, gimme. Yes, we're looking for new- this mascara, and it just be a Wonder Woman comic, uh, Wonder Woman show from here. Well, well, no, we're just gonna keep going with the Batman show, but we need a I new know, name. We need a new name. So I like yes. the as mascara. <laughs> so yes, if you want this first appearance, Batman Funko, this exact one, go to our Twitter, retweet it, like it. Follow up, follow before the bat. Well, as it is right now, follow it on Twitter and then right below it, put in your comment what you think the new show name would be. Because uh, some of you, I can- have the perfect name when we get off air. Okay, you can tell me. Yes, some people can't read because the tweet has gotten <laughs> no, we've gotten 30 retweets, and only, only one person actually put a uh, 
suggestion. That's how social media works, baby. It's not that they can't read. Don't want, don't want to. They just want to give you a like and a retweet. Be happy they did that. That's fine. That's fine. I'll I'll take the retweets, but you ain't getting the Funko. Yes. (laughs) Exactly. The the only suggestion we've gotten so far is warring on all criminals. The Batman podcast. (laughs) So, yes. Maybe, maybe because it was the 1939 Batman <laughs> warring on all criminals. <laughs> you know, because little Hellfire once caught, hang him from the bat plane. <laughs> all right, so yeah, send your thoughts. Sa- save our, save our buddy Ray Ray, Ray from uh, me taking his name and just naming it. You know, into the dark night, a Batman podcast. The Batman podcast. What the hell, Phil? The Batman podcast. What the f? <laughs> That's right. So save Tricky Dicky himself. Tricky Dicky. So yes. So, but again, send your thoughts. Batman Five Hundred will be coming up on our next. Well, the next episode of the Batman podcast. But you only have until September thirtieth. Get your suggestions in. Retweet, like, and send your thoughts. Email us capesandlunatics at gmail dot com. Call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38CAPES. And follow Before the Bat, formerly known as Before the Bat, and all of our other shows. Links to everything, YouTube, the Patreon, everything, all in one place. That's Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support our sponsors, Tweaked Audio. Get yourself some Tweaked Audio headphones. Hunt a Killer. Hunt a killer. Michelle Gray needs your help. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> they even have a Blair Witch one right now. Yes. Yeah, so, yes, go there. Uh, for both of those, use the code Southgate. I knew it was a snuff film. Whoa. <laughs> use the code Southgate for both of those for a handy discount. <laughs> yeah. And go pick up Pod Life the Book now in digital and paperback. And you can get that on Amazon. And when you do, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Help us support this show, whatever we name it. Uh, the network. Give me, give me. Oh, and Rob, Master Doom Southgate. Make it rain, so says Master Doom. You're weak sauce. Come on, Phil, say Gotham. Not for long. <laughs> Lilith Hell. Oh, oh, but you also send your thoughts because, yes, in two weeks we'll be back with before the bat but next week you know what we're doing Lil. give me that pilot for superman lois and clark the new adventures of superman we'll be covering the pilot did you find it or did you buy the dvd um i didn't look yet i mean if is it still are they still do they still have the tv shows on dc universe um i know they had it the last time that i looked yeah because i don't think i don't is is it 2021 where dc's universe is changing i don't know i I, I have no idea i know i only read the headlines in the Uh, comments (laughs) uh i'm looking right as long as it's not from we got you covered another twitter beef i'm starting right (laughs) right now it's still there so okay so yeah yeah that's the best place to watch the pilot for now for everybody if you're listening and if you care dc universe that is right (laughs) yes support your dc universe and their freelancers (laughs) I got you, Josh, for laughing for Tony. All right, Lilith Hell, the drunken Lilith Hellfire. Where can people find you? As long as it's not a Friday night, you can find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire or over on Instagram at Lilith Hellfire69. New, new material coming, memes and comic books. Don't worry, at Lilith Hellfire69 or for my regular boring Lilith at Lilith Hellfire86. It's ting, ting, tingle it, ting, ting, tingle it. Especially with the models, she's dr- she's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, this, this may be one of the last episodes of Before the Bat. Soon to be, soon to be renamed, but not renumbered because we're not Marvel or DC. Uh, I didn't even see it. I know. So yes, come back next week. Lois and Clark pilot. But do return to the Superman. And then in two weeks, Batman 500. Somebody get something to play. 
or street fight. Yes, come join us. Lots of DC content coming. We can save them. But until then, come back next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. For some, now. Some kind of Batman podcast.